the house. I won't be here when it gets here. That has possibilities. It's a great idea. We can leave a note. Uh, he's expecting you to be here. A note would explain. All right, what would I write? You forgot you had plans. What? You see, you're, you're back to lying again. I won't leave a note. Well, run the risk that when you get back, he'll be sitting in the driveway waiting for you. Why would he do that? Well, he's expecting you to be here. Without a note, he'll assume you ran off to do a quick errand. And when I don't come back... He'll sit in his car and wait. How long? <coughs> How long will he wait? Who knows? Oh, great. Eventually. Eventually? Eventually, he'll review the day's sequence of events. He calls you, he invites you to take a walk with him in the Botanic Garden. I hate the Botanic Garden. You say yes. At that time, there was no reason to think that yes meant no. It certainly did. Unless you were caught off guard. I was. And yes did mean no. And he'll figure that out? It's the only logical conclusion. It is? I believe so. Hmm. Then he'll leave. Yes, he'll leave. About time. Saddened, bewildered, mystified, drenched in self-doubt. I get your point. He'll drive defeated. He'll drive possibly home. Where else would he go? Oh, so many places. Like where? Perhaps to a liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> to drown his sorrows. To the beach. To drown himself, because I stood him up. And God knows how many people before you. Oh, he's not going to kill himself. You don't know him, so you really don't know me. OK, OK, I'll go on the stupid walk. You know you could just tell him the truth. That's a shocking notion, isn't it? This, the truth, so straightforward, so honest, so clean. And uh, yeah, what is the truth? That you don't want to go. That is the truth. No, the truth, truth. It's too soon. You're not ready. Oh, I've gone out. Twice, four years ago. I didn't like it. I didn't have a good time. Well, tell him that. But I don't like this. Being in this situation, in this position, you know, I like my life just the way it is. I like living alone. Living alone does not mean one is lonely. <laughs> you go, girl. It doesn't. I resent the way society has cast us, cast me in some special category. <laughs> How's she doing? Oh. Does she go out? <laughs> oh, what a shame. An attractive woman like her. The unspoken implication that if you were unattractive, then all would be OK. <laughs> you know, I like being by myself. And I'm not by myself. I have my travels. I have my students. Oh, your AP English class. Yes. How fulfilling. <laughs> Do you know, when I book a package tour, I get charged twice as much for a single room than if I shared a double? An outrage. It is. Well, it's like bald men paying as much for haircuts as men with full heads of hair. <laughs> That's not the same thing. Oh, injustices. How you wish I understood you right now. Yes, I wish you would. That's important to you, isn't it? To be understood. Understood by someone? By me, in particular. Yes, by you. See, I don't like where this is going. Where is that? Blaming me.